welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we are going to set up and run a linear static uh, simulation study and how to evaluate the result based on factor of safety to improve the design so let's see how to improve this design with the help of factor of safety and we will set up the environment of solidworks static simulation and uh, we will avoid this stress on this holes so let's see now here we created a sim single st steel strip now you can see the dimension just note down this dimension and make the single strip steel strip that's it now let's see how to run a, a set up a simulation so just go to add-ins now choose here simul solidworks simulation check both the boxes select ok now see in window ma minus you can see simulation arrived and even you can see here simulation window arrives now i'll choose perspective so it looks better select here new study now in st uh, we will choose here statistics in statistics uh, we can calculate we can uh, calculate the displacement reaction forces stresses strains and factor of safety for distribution so these things we can calculate in a statistic way so select ok now these are the win this is the window of solidworks simulation now here we need to fill uh, some necessary things first material select the part apply material so i'll choose the same material what we applied before steel 4130 steel annealed apply close now the material is applied the next thing is fixture we have to fix any way because this is a single part not assembly so we have to fix any one wall so let's apply here fixed geometry so i'll apply fixed geometry and i'll check this face now see it's fixed okay now one side is fixed now the second thing is external load so let's collect forces we want to apply forces on this any one corner and we will see the displacement and uh, stress ana analysis so i'll choose this one corner not uh, i will not apply on the surface i'll apply on this corner now you can see the direction of uh, displacement it's not uh, downward direction so there is one option in your left hand side just below the normal choose here selection direction once you select that then you can choose here downward direction now you can see the arrow go goes down that means your forces applying from top to bottom now here at the bottom it you need is si standard and forces i'll apply 1500 newton let's see what will happen select yes now here we fixed and apply the forces now the third thing and last thing is mesh mesh actually it is a, uh, it is also a very useful thing if you will right click create mesh if you will make the fine mesh you will get the perfect result if you will make the less and uh, co meshes are become uh, big then the your result will be or output will be uh, not accurate so i'll try to either you can just drop this bar or if you will come down mesh parameter you can add this from here anything like uh, this is let's say 3 now see the bar is moved you will get the fine result but the calculation will takes too much time and even your graphics will take too much time so if you have uh, uh, less graphics less cpu it may difficult for your pc maybe it will hang your pc so be careful for this one select ok now it is calculating now you can see the mesh all equal meshes all around the equal meshes now let's apply run this study yes now it will going to solve our problem and we will see the displacement and everything 
that's why see i choose the mess is smaller than the result will take too much time so always keep in midway but definitely the fine mesh will gives you fine result or a result will be closer to the accuracy it still it's working because uh, you know we choose fine mesh okay that's solved now you can see a big displacement see we applied the force and how your our strip is bent and uh, this red color shows the maximum number of st stress here chances of breakdown in your uh, right hand view you can see this column stress column so this is shown in newton per square meter actually our geometry in mm so we need newton per millimeter square so right click edit definition and choose here unit we need mm square select okay now here you can see it now here you can see a red arrow this red arrow means it indicates material begin to deform from here to plastic shape so right click on stress click animate now see how it is rotating how we applied the force and is going to move if you will reduce then it will reduce stop 50 play it will calculate and it 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 may takes time but if you will increase the frame rate it will gives you accurate result and your uh, geometry and your uh, movement will be very you can say fine and uh, you i hope you understand see it's moving very smoothly and you can see select okay now see this red color shows the maximum stress means the deformation will happen here now double click on displacement now you can see the maximum displacement is 2.463 double click on strain and here also you can see the maximum strain 4. 9 mm on 1500 newton force now here let's examine just double click on stress and you can see this red area it shows the more stress on this area so let examine just right click on stress select probe and uh, select anywhere in this uh, left click you can see it shows the location and value right click let's go little out actually uh, see the geometry is not perfectly looks better so what we will do we will reduce the mesh size so just cancel this one and uh, go to mesh right click and select here apply mesh control that's it now here we will reduce the size 1.5 okay uh, let's choose this entity S we need to choose actually this circle 
okay now click on the mesh create mesh it will ask you to re remeshing and delete the result for study select okay and here we will set little less 2.5 okay now it is recalculating now you can observe here see the mesh area bit in both the circles are different because we reapplied mesh here so here we will get the better result than this circle see here mesh are equal but here mesh become small if small mesh it means it gives you better result now here just run the result now it will again recalculate it may takes time because of our meshes are fine and even uh, uh, it will take time due to your system if you have a less graphics less processor it will take more time that's why always for simulation you need better a uh, performing computer uh, laptop i prefer to use at least minimum 4 gb ram and uh, i7 with uh, you can say minimum four number of cores now here again we will ch check the stress distribution scale and uh, maybe we need to change the forces which is we applied 1500 newton now you can see still there is deformation you can see still there is a deformation little deformation so right click we will try again probe 1 2 3 now in three areas we applied uh, investigate and we will see how much forces will required select okay now here fine mesh allow the probe of get much closer result comparing to probe result yield stress yield stress little uh, move from their previous position so we need to change the applying force now see it's we need to change our applying force and uh, we will keep our applying force 180 newton almost now in your you can see here in stress uh, displacement scale a red line still shows the bending line or displacement line so what we will do we want to reduce this, this one or we want to make it zero so do one thing just reduce the newton per meter edit definition and we will reduce our forces up to 200 newton because 1500 newton is too big select run now it is again going to calculate and it will show you if this red line disappears that means our geometry is perfectly comes under safe safety a uh, comes under factor of safety so let's see now you can see the red line is uh, displaced from here means it will comes under safety S right click on the result select factor of safety plot here select next next okay now here is define factor of safety so right click factor of safety and here choose chart option Uh, sorry select edit definition uh, sorry right click 
चार्ट ऑप्शन विल डिफाइन फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी सेलेक्ट दिस ऑल मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम एनोटेशन ऑटोमेटिकली डिफाइंड मैक्सिमम लेस चूज फाइव मिनिमम कीप जीरो नाउ सी फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव इट इज द फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी स्टिल देर इज लिटिल डिस्टोशन बट दिस इज अंडर कंट्रोल इट्स नॉट ओके नाउ सी आवर डिजाइन इज फुल्ली डिफाइंड एंड अंडर कंट्रोल एंड लेस स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन एंड द फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी इज परफेक्ट सो दिस इज द सिंपल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेन और यू कैन से स्टेटिक स्टेटिक लीनियर स्टडी आई होप यू लाइक इट डोंट फर्गेट टू शेयर एंड लाइक अवर वीडियो एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियो एंड मोर प्रोजेक्ट्स इन सॉलिड वर्क थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग